je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats, il est torreros, You know, uh, as most of you know, I have a bicycle channel, and I've always been very excited about bicycling. Uh, I will say that my motivation is shifting a little bit. Not that I want to take a car, I still bicycle everywhere, but I'm becoming less interested in being an activist or being promoting uh, of bicycling because I just don't think people care enough. I don't think they really believe in all the things they say they believe in. People on one hand will say they hate climate change and they hate whatever political person that's not for it, uh, protecting the environment, yet they run the air conditioning or they drive a car to work. And they have excuses and reasons, but it really doesn't matter. It's really, if it was that important as they say it is, they would not drive their car to work. They would not blast the AC in the summer. We are killing our planet and no one cares. My motivation is shifting and I want to look into other things. and. I still want to be a champion of change because I feel like the world is changing faster and faster every day and we need to be ready to not just accept what's happening today but be ready for anything because things are going to get crazy. The world is not going to look anything like it does now within 10 to 20 years. We are really heading to a precipice and we need to be open to each other's ideas and not the past ideas but the future ideas. You know, it's okay to be fiscally conservative and to take care of your family and to have certain traditions, but your fears and, and our traditions and, and, and past motivations are preventing us from moving forward, and we need to move forward now. We have too many issues not to move forward. That might mean things like organ printing and synthetic meat and, and all these things that make me uncomfortable as well. You know, robots taking over, taking control of our systems. This just might need to be what happens for the good of everyone. And maybe humans don't need to be here. Maybe humans don't need to exist. Maybe we're giving birth to this new intelligence that's going to fix things that we couldn't fix. And that might just have to be okay too. The point is, it is only selfishness and fear that drives this anxiety about things that are happening. And... The earth is much bigger than humans, and it is likely that humans will not exist in 200,000 years, in 200 years, in 20 years. Whenever humans cease to exist, it doesn't matter. We don't matter. We just think we do. And, you know, honestly, we could also figure out aging, and we could figure out how to not die. People, when I say that, they don't believe it. They think somehow that humans always have to die. That makes no sense. I don't see how with artificial intelligence with unlimited knowledge, we're already figuring out how to edit human genes in live humans. So the fact that we think that humans cannot be made to be immortal is kind of short-sighted and foolish. You know, yes, we're still not there, but there's no reason why we can't make a discovery tomorrow in, in computing or in healthcare that somehow all of a sudden makes this an acceptable mainstream idea. I think there was something like, um, I forget what it was, but something like uh, f human flight, like in airplanes or something, like the, that the day before, or I think it was a physics discovery. Anyway, there was a discovery where someone said, this will never happen. And the very next day it happened. Something that everyone believed to be impossible. So I just want you to keep your mind open and keep open to the possibilities that we can change everything, and whether we do or not, everything will change. Lord, Lord, ta -ta.